Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about word problems involving equation of a circle. So let's start. Let us answer the following. Number one, find the equation of the circle whose center is at negative 4 comma 5 and tangent to the x axis. Number two, find the equation of the circle whose center is at negative 4 comma 5 and tangent to y axis naman. Number three, determine the equation of the circle whose center is at the intersection of the lines x minus 3y equals to negative 5 and 2x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0 and the length of the radius is equal to 6. Number 4, determine the equation of the circle which is concentric to the circle x squared plus y squared plus 8x plus 4y minus 10 is equal to 0 and passes through the point 1 comma 0. And number 5, Find the equation of the circle that passes through the points 0, negative 1 and negative 4, 3. And the center is at the line x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's start the solution for number 1. Find the equation of the circle whose center is at negative 4, 5 and tangent to x-axis. First thing to do, i-graph muna natin. So, partition plane please. Next, i-graph natin yung negative 4, 5. So, nandito siya sa second quadrant. We have negative 4, 5. And ang sabi doon, find the equation of the circle whose center, ito yung center natin, and tangent to x axis. Ano ba ibig sabihin pag sinabi natin tangent? So, napag-aralan natin yan before. So, ito yung discussion natin nung nakaraan. Tangent is a line that intersect the circle at exactly one point. So, ibig sabihin, kung ito yung ating center, Yung circle natin ay dumaan lang ng isang beses sa x-axis. So, parang ganito yung ating circle. Once lang siya tumama dun sa ating x-axis. Now, paano tayo gagawa ng equation ng circle? Ano mga kailangan natin? Kailangan natin ng center. And kailangan natin ng length ng radius. Tanong, gano'ng kahaba yung radius? So, mula kay center hanggang dun sa isang point sa circle. Since maliit lang naman yan, pwede nating bilangin na lang. So, ito ay 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, the radius equal to 5 units. Now, meron tayong center. Meron na tayong radius. Pwede na tayong gumawa ng equation ng circle. So, we have the general form. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. I-substitute na lang natin. We have x minus negative 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared equal to 5 squared. Yung r is 5, yung h natin ay negative 4, yung k natin ay positive 5. Simplify natin, we have x plus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 25. And we're done. Now, yung shortcut natin dito, pwede naman natin mula dito kay center, change the sign na lang tayo. Kagaya nito, negative 4, pagating dito kay equation, positive 4. Itong positive 5 kay center, pagdating sa equation, negative 5 naman. Okay? And yung radius natin, is squared lang naman natin. Okay? So, let's move on to example number 2. Find the equation of the circle whose center is at, the same thing, negative 4, 5, and tangent naman siya sa y-axis. So, una kailangan gawin, graph muna natin. Ito yung ating center. And ang sabi doon, tangent siya sa y-axis. So, dito naman tayo sa y-axis titingin. Kailangan daw, tangent siya dyan at dyan lang siya dadaan ng isang beses. And our circle looks like this. Once lang siya dumaan sa ating y-axis kasi nga, tangent siya doon. Para makagawa ng equation ng circle, kailangan natin ng center and radius. Meron tayong center, given yan. Now, yung length ng radius... Wala. So, hanapin natin. Bali, yung radius niya is mula kay center. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, meron tayong 4 units. Therefore, yung ating radius is 4 units. It follows na yung ating equation ng circle must be equal to x plus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 16. Again, change the sign lang to. Negative yung center. Positive. Positive yun na sa center. Negative. So, we have x minus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 16 and we're done. 
Now, another question is, Sir, paano natin i-double check kung tama yung sagot natin? Okay? So, nakita nyo yung tanong sa number 1, at ito naman yung sa number 2. Almost the same lang. Kaya, pagsasabay na natin i-double check. Okay? To double check our answer, gagamit tayo na, syempre, Desmos. So, open tayo ng Desmos. So, again, yung Desmos, free yan sa Google Play. Bukod sa free na, wala pa yung bayad. Okay? Since nagawa ko na yung equation kanina, ipapakita na lang natin para mas mabilis yung ating checking. Okay? So, punta tayo sa nakasave sa ating graph. So, ito yung circle number 1. So, ito yung center natin. Negative 4, 5. Ito siya. And ito yung final answer natin. At ito daw ay tangent dun sa x-axis. Gandahan muna natin yung graph natin. Projectors mode muna gawin natin. Okay? Kiklik ko lang to para lumabas yung ating circle. And here we go. Ito ay circle na tangent sa ating x-axis. Therefore, our answer is correct. Next. Number 2 naman tayo. So, number 2, ito naman ay tangent dun sa ating y-axis. Okay? So, ito yung ating center. Naka-projector mode na ba tayo? So, gawin natin projector mode. Like this. Oops. Naka-projector mode na siya. So, ito yung ating center again. Negative 4, 5. And yung nakuha natin sagot ay itong ating circle. At sabi, ito ay tangent dun sa ating y-axis. So, let's see. There you go yung sa ating circle ay tangent sa ating y-axis kasi once lang siya tumama doon. And therefore, our answer is absolutely correct. Now, let's move on to our third example. Okay. Number three. Determine the equation of the circle whose center is at the intersection of the lines x minus 3y is equals to negative 5 and 2x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0, and the length of the radius is equal to 6. At this point, isipin muna natin ano yung mga kailangan nating makuha para makagawa tayo ng equation ng circle. Una, kailangan natin ng center. Meron na ba tayong center? And the answer is, wala pa. Hindi naman siya ibinigay. Okay? Next, kailangan din natin ng radius. Meron na ba tayong radius? And the answer is, yes, meron na tayong radius which is 6 units. So, ang problema na lang natin dito ay ano yung ating center. Now, basahin ulit natin yung problem. Determine the equation of the circle whose center is at the intersection of the lines x minus 3y equals to negative 5 and 2x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. Nasa intersection daw nitong dalawang line. Eh, ang pagkakatanda ko na discuss sa atin yung intersection of two lines. Ito yon. So, hindi tayo makakatanggi kasi ito yung ating discussion nung nakaraan. So, paano natin makukuha yung intersection ng dalawang line? Pwede tayong gumamit ng elimination or substitution. Okay? So, let's use elimination or substitution para makuha yung intersection nila. Okay? So, we have these two equation x minus 3y equals to negative 5. At yung pangalawa natin equation, yung negative 4, lipat na natin sa kabilang side para maging positive 4. So, we have 2x plus y is equals to positive 4. Now, kung titignan yung ating equation, yung y natin isang negative sa isang positive. Kung imumultiply natin tong second equation by 3 at i-add natin sila, makakancel natin yung y. So, gawin natin. Multiply natin sa 3. So, we have, copy lang natin yung unang equation. Yung pangalawa, magiging 6x plus 3y equal to 12. Distribute natin yung 3. Now, kapag in natin to, ang mangyayari dun sa 3y sa ka-negative 3y, cancel out or 0, or eliminated. Ano lang malitira? x plus 6x, which is 7x, negative 5 plus 12 is 7. Divide both side by 7, we get x is equal to 1. Now, paano natin makukuha yung value ng y? I-substitute natin yung value ng x sa kahit alin man dito sa dalawang equation. So, gamitin natin itong 2x plus y is equal to Four. So, palitan natin yung x ng 1. So, ito ay 2x, kaya naging 2 times 1. Okay? 2 times 1 plus y is equal to 4. Lipat yung 2 sa kabila, magiging y is equal to 2. Therefore, yung ating intersection ng dalawang line na yan is equal to 1 comma 2. So, ang sabi doon, yung center daw ay yung intersection. So, kung 1 and 2 yung intersection, 1 and 2 din yung ating center. Meron tayong center at meron tayong radius. 
So we have the general formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. And yung ating equation na hinahanap natin must be x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 36. And we're done. Now, positive 1 to negative 1, change the sign. Positive 2, negative 2, change the sign. 6 squared is 36. So, ganun lang siya kadaling gawin. And that's it. Now, to double check our answer, gagamit ulit tayo syempre ng Desmos. So, open natin yung Desmos. Nabukod sa libre na, wala pa tong bayad. Punta tayo ka example number 3. Okay, open natin. So, unang given natin yung dalawang line. At ang sabi, yung intersection daw niyan ay yung ating center. So, nakuha natin sagot is 1, 2. And, yun naman talaga yung kanilang intersection. Okay? Next. Since given na yung ating radius, ginawa na agad natin yung equation ng ating circle. So, ito ngayon nakuha natin sagot. So, pag kinilik natin to lalabas yung circle. And, there you go. Ito yung ating circle na ang center niya is at 1, 2. At yung radius niya for sure is equal to 6 units. And, we're done. Now, let's move on to question number 4. Now, question number 4 is determine the equation of the circle which is concentric to the circle x squared plus y squared plus 8x plus 4y minus 10 is equal to 0 and passes through the point 1, comma, 0. Now, paggawa ng equation ng circle, ano yung mga kailangan natin? Kailangan natin ng center. Meron na ba tayong center? Wala pa. Next, kailangan din natin makuha yung length ng radius, ang tanong. Meron na ba tayong length ng radius? Binigay ba siya? And ang sagot ay, wala pa din. So in short, kailangan natin hanapin yung center at yung radius. Now, basahin muna natin ulit mabuti. So ang sabi sa tanong, determine the equation of the circle which is concentric to the circle x squared plus y squared plus 8x plus 4y minus 10 is equal to 0. Ang tanong, ano ba yung concentric? Napag-aralan natin yan before. So lahat ng gagamitin natin dito, naging topic natin last time. Okay? So ano ba yung concentric? Balikan natin. So ito yung concentric. Concentric circles are the circles which have the same center. So ayun naman pala. Makukuha natin yung center kasi... Same sila nung center nung circle na to. So, ang kailangan natin hanapin, yung center nung circle na x squared plus y squared plus 8x plus 4y minus n is equal to 0. E meron tayong formula para makuha yung center. Yung formula nun is negative a over 2 kama negative b over 2. So, ano ba yung a natin? Yung a yung kasama nung x at yung b yun yung kasama nung y. Okay? I-substitute na natin. We have negative 8 over 2, comma negative 4 over 2, wherein our center is equal to negative 4, comma negative 2. So, meron na tayong center na ganun kabilis. Next, paano naman natin hahanapin yung radius? Now, yung unang given na gamit na natin. So, ano pa yung given na hindi natin nagagamit? Yun yung point na 1, comma 0. So, isipin natin kung paano natin magagamit yung 1, comma 0 para hanapin yung ating radius. So, una, i-graph muna natin. Cartesian plane, please. Graph muna natin yung ating center. Ito siya, negative 4, 2. Next, yung point na dinaanan, sabi doon yung circle daw ay magpa-pass through or dadaan sa point na 1, 0. Ito yung 1, 0. Ibig sabihin, yung circle natin, ito yung center, dadaan siya doon sa 1, 0. Like this. Now, ang tanong, Paano natin hahanapin yung radius? E alam natin ang radius ay mula kay center hanggang doon sa circle. So mula doon kay negative 4, 2, saka doon kay 1, 0. Ang tanong, gano'n yan kalayo? Maalala natin bigla yung lesson natin about distance between two points. Na-discuss din natin yan. At meron tayong formula para makuha yung distance niyan. We have the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, gagamitin natin yung formula ng distance para mahanap yung haba ng radius. Okay? So, apply natin. So, we have the radius is equivalent to 
the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, we have 1 minus negative 4 plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1, 0 minus negative 2 squared. Simplify lang natin. We have 5 squared plus 2 squared or simply 25 plus 4 and 25 plus 4 is equal to 29. So we have the radius is equivalent to square root of 29 units. So meron na tayong radius. Now, meron na tayong center at meron na tayong radius. Pwede na tayong gumawa ng equation ng ating circle. So yung ating equation must be, change the sign lang tayo. We have x plus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to squared ng square root ng 29 which is 29. Therefore, our answer is x plus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 29 and we're done. So, syempre, hindi tayo makakatulog kung hindi natin yan, double check. So, double check natin using decimals. Na libre na, wala pang bayad. Okay? Doon tayo kay number 4. Next, naka-projector mode na ba tayo? And naka-projector mode na siya. Para magandang tingnan. Okay? So, yung given natin na circle ay ito. Yan yung una. Since concentric sila, para sila ng center. Ang nakuha nating center ay um, negative 4 comma negative 2. Ito yung ating center. Next, ang sabi, yung circle daw ay dadaan sa point na 1 comma 0. Mukhang tumama, pero tanggal natin yung projector mode. Kung mapapansin, hindi talaga siya totally tumama dun sa point na 1 comma 0. Okay? So, ito siya. Hindi siya tumama dun sa point na 1 comma 0. Right? Okay. So, tulad na tayo. Yung nakuha nating equation ng ating circle na dadaan dun sa 1 comma 0 at yung center niya ay nandoon sa negative 4 comma 2 ay itong pang-apat na equation. Click lang natin. And yun yung kulay violet. Na kung mapapansin, Concentric siya dun sa kulay pula kasi same sila ng center pero yung kulay violet kung mapapansin dumaan siya doon sa 1 comma 0. Therefore, our answer is correct. Okay? So let's move on to example number 5. Now, ano ba yung question dun sa number 5? Tingnan natin. Find the equation of the circle that passes through the points 0, negative 1, and negative 4, 3. And the center is at x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, una, meron na ba tayong center? And, syempre, wala pa. Next, meron ba tayong radius? Ibinigay pa siya. And the answer is, wala pa din. So, yung goal natin, hanapin yung center, hanapin yung radius, para magawa natin yung equation ng ating circle. Okay? Now, yung unang step na gagawin natin dito, since wala tayong ka-ID-idea, i-graph muna natin. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung ma-form natin. Okay? So, we have points, 0, negative 1, nasa y-axis. And yung point na negative 4, 3, ito ay nasa second quadrant. Like this. Now, yung center daw ng ating circle ay dadaan dun sa x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, kung itong line ay dumaan sa center, ibig sabihin, itong line na to ay nagko-contain ng diameter. Okay? Now, kung part na itong line, yung ating diameter ng circle, at dito siya dadaan sa dalawang point na to, posible na yung circle natin ay mukhang ganito. Okay? So, dumaan siya sa dalawang point na to, negative 4, 3, 0, negative 1, and yung center ay nandito sa line na x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, ano yung concept na gagamitin natin para mahanap natin yung center? Kasi yun muna dapat yung una nating hanapin, yung ating center. Now, maaalala natin bigla na pwede natin i-apply yung theorem on chords. So, ano yung specific na theorem on chords na pwede i-apply sa problem natin na to? So, tingnan natin yung ating discussion before. Sabi dito, the perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the center of the circle. Perpendicular bisector ng isang chord ay dadaan sigurado sa center ng ating circle. Parang ito yung pangalawang picture. Kung meron tayong chord and gumawa tayo ng perpendicular line doon, 
automatic na yung perpendicular line ay dadaan sa mismong center. So, pwede natin siyang i-apply. Gawin natin. So, gawa tayo ng chord from negative 4, comma 3 and 0, comma negative 1. So, meron tayong chord. Next, gawa tayo ng perpendicular by sector. At ang sabi doon, sure ball na dadaan yun sa ating center. In short, nandito yung ating center. So, lagyan na natin ng dot. Ang tanong, alam na ba natin yung coordinates ng center? And the answer is, hindi pa. Alam lang natin kung saan siya nakapwesto, pero hindi natin alam kung ano yung coordinates niyan. Yung kailangan natin ay coordinates. So, ang tanong, paano natin kukuhanin yung coordinates niyan? Maalala natin bigla na kung meron lang tayong equation nitong perpendicular line na to dun sa ating chord, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang line. At kung meron tayong dalawang line, makukuha natin yung intersection gamit yung elimination or substitution method. And kung makikita natin yung intersection nitong perpendicular line dun sa ating given line, makukuha na natin yung ating center. So, ganun yung gagawin natin. At lahat naman yun ay na-discuss. Now, paano ba tayo kukuha ng perpendicular line? Paano natin to gagawin? Siyempre, na-discuss yan sa atin nung nakaraan. So, ibabalik lang natin. Recall lang natin tong slide na to. Sabi dito, paano tayo magkakaroon ng perpendicular line kapag yung slope nila ay negative reciprocal ng isa't isa? Now, meron tayong given na 2 points. Okay? Pag nakuha natin yung slope nyan, ini-negative reciprocal lang natin, yun na yung slope ng ating perpendicular line. Madali, di ba? Now, sa ating picture, makuha natin yung slope kasi meron tayong dalawang given na points. Now, ang tanong, paano nga tayo gagawa ng equation? So, na-discuss ulit yun sa atin. Pag gawa ng equation, ay ganito lang. Gagamitin lang natin yung formula, pwede yung y is equal to mx plus b, kung given yung slope and yung y-intercept, or pwede natin gamitin yung y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1, yung ating point slope form. Okay? So, maraming way paano gumawa ng equation ng line. Don't worry, madali lang yung part na yan. Next, meron lang tayong slight na problema. Makukuha natin yung slope nyan, kasi may dalawa tayong given na point. Ang tanong na lang, meron tayong slope, Kailangan pa natin ng isang point na kung saan doon dadaan yung ating line. Hmm, since ito ay perpendicular by sector, hindi pwede yung center kasi wala pa tayong point nun. Okay? So, ang kailangan natin hanapin ay yung gitna nitong dalawang point na to. Kasi nga, perpendicular by sector, ibig sabihin, nahati siya into two equal parts. Ibig sabihin, kung makikita natin yung midpoint nung dalawa na to, doon dadaan yung ating perpendicular by sector. Eh, we know how to find the midpoint. Na-discuss ulit yan sa atin nung nakaraan. So, balikan lang natin yung slide na to. Yung midpoint formula is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2, comma y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. And also, i-review na rin natin kung paano kunin yung slope. Meron tayong dalawang given point. Para makuha yung slope, we will use m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, sagutan na natin. Kasi lahat naman ng ating mga ia-apply ay napag-aralan na natin before. Okay? So, simulan natin sa pagkuha ng point muna. So, gamitin natin yung midpoint. Para makuha yung midpoint ng dalawang points na ito, we have negative 4, 3 and 0, negative 1. So, we have negative 4 plus 0 over 2, 3 plus negative 1 all over 2. Simplify natin. We have negative 2, 1. Therefore, ito yung midpoint ng dalawang given points natin. Dito dadaan yung ating perpendicular by sector. Ang kailangan na lang natin ay yung slope nyan. So, kunin natin yung slope, tapos i-negative reciprocal natin. So, kunin natin yung slope ng ating dalawang point. We have y2 minus y1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, in this case, Yung ating y sub 2 ay yung negative 1. So, negative 1 minus 3 all over 0 minus negative 4. Simplify natin. We have negative 1 minus 3 or simply negative 4 all over positive 4 sa denominator. Negative 4 over positive 4 will give us negative 1. Now, ang kailangan natin ay negative reciprocal nitong slope na negative 1. Kasi ang kailangan natin ay perpendicular, hindi 
parallel lines. Okay? So, negative reciprocal niyan is positive 1. So, yun ang gagamitin natin para makapag-create ng equation. So, we have y minus y1 equal to the slope times x minus x sub 1. Bakit ito yung ginamit natin? Kasi mayroon tayong given point. Ito yung negative 2, 1. And yung slope natin, negative reciprocal nito or simply 1. Apply natin. We have y minus 1 is equal to yung slope natin ay 1 multiplied by x minus negative 2. Now, pause for a moment. Saan nakuha yung mga values na yan? Yung 1, saan nakuha tong 1? Yung slope na to, negative reciprocal. Saan nakuha yung 1 sa negative 2? Ito yung midpoint na kinuha natin kanina. Okay? Now, simplify na lang natin. We have y is equal to x plus 3. Ito yung equation nitong kulay violet na line na dadaan sa ating center. Okay? Now, to find the center, simple lang. Meron tayong dalawang equation ng line. Pwede natin gamitan ng elimination or substitution para kunin yung kanilang intersection. So, gamitan natin ng elimination or substitution. Now, in this case, since yung y ay equivalent sa x plus 3, mas mabilis kung gagamitan na agad natin ng substitution. Kasi naka-isolate na yung value ng y. Okay? So, we have x plus 2 times x plus 3. Ito yung value ng y. Pinalitan natin ng x plus 3. Then, plus 4 is equal to 0. Simplify lang natin ang bagya. We have x plus 2x plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 0. Dinistribute lang natin yung 2. Next, Combine similar terms, tapos yung constant, lipat na natin sa kabilang side. So, we have 3x is equal to negative 10. Divide both side by 3, we get x is equal to negative 10 over 3. Now, ito yung value ng x. Paano makukuha yung value ng y? I-substitute natin yung value ng x sa kahit alin mang equation dyan. Yung pinakamadali, yung y is equal to x plus 3. So, we have y is equal to x plus 3. Yung x palitan ng negative 10 over 3. We have negative 10 over 3 plus 3 or simply y is equal to negative 1 third. Now, yung intersection nila is equivalent to negative 10 over 3 comma negative 1 over 3. Therefore, yung center natin, yun yung intersection. Therefore, yung center natin must be negative 10 over 3 comma negative 1 over 3. Now, isa na lang yung kulang para makagawa tayo ng equation yung haba ng ating radius. So, paano natin kukunin yung length ng radius? Siyempre, meron tayong center at meron tayong isang point doon sa ating circle. So, pwedeng gamitan ng distance formula. Now, in this case, gagamitin ko yung 0, negative 1. Kasi mas madali siya kasi may 0. Okay? So, we have the radius is equivalent to x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Next, isubstitute na natin lahat ng mga values na meron tayo. We have the center at yung point na 0, negative 1. So, we have the square root of negative 10 minus 0 squared plus negative 1 third minus negative 1 squared. Now, saan ko naman napulot yung mga numbers na yan? Yung negative 10 over 3, ito yung x sub 2 minus x sub 1, 0. Next, y sub 2 natin is negative 1 over 3. Ito yung y sub 2. Minus yung y sub 1 natin ay negative 1. Kaya, 1 third minus negative 1. Now, simplify na lang natin. This is negative 10 over 3 squared. So, ito ay 100 over 9. Next, we have negative 1 third plus 1 or simply 2 over 3. Squared natin is 4 over 9. So, 100 over 9 plus 4 over 9 will give us 104 over 9. Simplify natin kasi nasa loob siya ng square root and we get 2 square root of 26 all over 3. Now, since kompleto na yung mga kailangan natin para makagawa ng equation ng circle, mayroon na tayong center at radius, pwede na tayong gumawa ng equation ng ating circle. So, therefore, yung ating equation must be, again, change the sign lang tayo dun sa center at squared lang natin yung ating radius. So, we have x plus 10 over 3 squared plus y plus 1 third squared is equal to 104 all over 9 and we're done. Now, how to double check kung tama yung ating sagot? Siyempre, gagamit tayo ng Desmos. Okay. Punta tayo dun sa ating 
number 5. Ginawa ko na siya kasi ahead of time para mas madali nating ma-double check. Okay. Tanggalin muna natin yung mga graph. Nakita nyo agad tuloy yung sagot. Okay. So, una, yung given natin ay dalawang points. We have 0, negative 1 and negative 4, comma 3. Projector mode natin para magandang tingnan. Next, label na rin natin. Yan. Now, yung center daw ng circle natin ay nandoon sa line na x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. So, check natin to. Diyan siya dadaan. Next, ang ginawa natin dito, kinonect natin yung dalawang point at gumawa tayo ng perpendicular bisector. At ang nakuha natin sagot doon ay y is equals to x plus 3. Ito yung equation ng perpendicular bisector nung points na negative 4, 3 and 0, negative 1. So, ito yung nakuha natin. Y is equals to x plus 3. Okay. Next, kinuha natin yung intersection. At ang nakuha natin sagot ay negative 10 over 3 and negative 1 third. So, check nga natin kung ito nga yung intersection nila. And there you go. Ito yung kanilang intersection. Next. So, ito yung ating center. Next, kinuha natin yung length ng center dun sa isang point na nandoon sa ating circle. In this case nga, kinuha natin yung 0, negative 1. Kasi meron siyang 0, madali siya i-add or i-subtract. Ang nakuha natin sagot ay x plus 10 over 3 squared plus y plus 1 third squared is equal to 104 all over 9. Check natin. There you go. Yung ating center is at negative 10 over 3, comma, negative 1 third. At dumaan siya dun sa dalawang point na given sa atin. Therefore, our answer is correct. Finally, we're done.